Hey guys, this is just a video to show you everything that you need um, to use the Weller Color Charm Toners. So obviously you need the toner and also a developer, 10 or 20 will work. Uh, 20 will give you one level of lift and 10 will just deposit the color. And then you need something to mix that in. So either in a tint bowl with a brush and a measuring cup, because you need to measure out these and their liquids, or a tint bottle that already has the measurements on it. It just depends how you like to apply your toner. Okay, and to mix the toner. So you need one part toner to two parts developer. So that means you need one of this and double the amount of developer. And I'm gonna show you that now. Okay, and to mix. So we're gonna do one part of this, which is the toner. So I'm gonna do 20 mils. And then you need two parts of your developer. So that would be 40 mils, which will bring us up to 60 mils. There we go. And then just put that into your mixing bowl. Mix it all up. And it will turn like a gluey consistency. Like a, if you remember clag glue at school, kind of will turn like that or paper mache glue. There we go, we've got our gluey consistency, and then you apply. So you want to apply your toner mix onto damp hair, and that will just ensure that it doesn't grab onto certain sections and leave some more toned than others. So you're just going to apply, which is gonna be really difficult with one hand, um, but make sure you apply all over, and I really coat that in. I would use my hands and like really work it through the hair, and then leave for, 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Okay, so here you can see that I have applied the toner onto the damp hair. Um, and I've just shown you two examples. This ideally is the color that you want your hair to be to start with to get a great effect. But I thought I would show you on the darker, more orangey piece so you can see an example. What I've done is applied the color with the brush and then really worked it through just to make sure that we've got a saturation. Now we wait. I thought I'd do a check-in for you so you can see the progress as we go along. So this is at 10 minutes. And that is looking pretty good if you ask me. I can't wait to wash off. And here we are at 20 minutes. Don't be scared by the uh, pebble tone. Pebble is opposite to yellow on the color wheel. So those will cancel each other out and give you a nice ashy result. I am just gonna wash this out and leave it to dry, show you guys the final product. I know I said I was going to show you it dry, but I thought I would just pop on and show you those wet after I've washed out the toner. Back in a sec when they're dry. Here's our before and afters now that they're dry. So that is on the more yellow toned hair extension and the more orange tone has gone a nice ashy brown. 